Welcome back to the channel, where we talk about everything Canadian politics, US politics, worldwide politics, uh, we criticize Justin Trudeau, we talk about what's going on in Canada and how it's headed in the wrong direction. I also talk about United States politics as well. I want to bring something up that was trending on Twitter. Hashtag never polyev. Now a lot of people are going to call me a grifter because I'm talking about Pierre Polyev and I'm not like criticizing him. I think he's a good guy, but I'm bringing up the criticism that exists for him. I want to make it very clear. I dislike Justin Trudeau. I think he is a horrible prime minister. I think he should absolutely be gone. People are still going to call me a grifter because I'm talking about Pierre Polyev getting criticized. There's a lot of people who get really riled up when you talk about anybody that they like in a slightly negative light. I'm not even talking about Polyev in a negative light. I'm just bringing up what Twitter is saying. For the record, I think Pierre Polyev is a decent guy. Obviously, I don't know him. Uh, he seems pretty good. Definitely a lot better than Turdo. We're going to be pulling this up. Hashtag never Polyev on Twitter. What's this all about? Because hashtag I made a video the other day. Hashtag I stand with Trudeau was trending on Twitter, which is wild. And then also hashtag never Polyev is trending number one in Canada right now. So I don't know what this is. A lot of people are still loyal to Justin Trudeau, which is crazy. I saw this video um, sorry about that. I saw this video on my TikTok feed. It was a live video titled why Justin Trudeau is our savior. It was a picture of Jesus, but his face was Justin Trudeau's. So there's a lot, there's a lot of people out there who are crazy, who are still an absolute support of Trudeau. And it gets me riled up. Like you saw my video yesterday. I was absolutely speechless. Like I really had nothing to say because it, I just feel so disappointed that Canadians are still so blindfolded, but who knows, man? Let's see what people are saying about Pierre Polyev here. Um, Polyev is a vindictive prick. He cannot stand how well our government handled the pen. Oh my gosh. He saw it as a political loss for him. Personally, he used the vaccine as a political weapon to build his hate brand. Who is this person who's saying this? What a smug, sick, power-hungry narcissist. Hashtag never Polyev. And that has 700 likes. Have you noticed Pierre Polyev has separated his brown skin selfies from his white cult rallies? Why? Like, dude, people are just saying the most outlandish stuff about Pierre Polyev. I'm not even saying that I love the guy. Like I said, I don't know Pierre Polyev. I've never met the guy. Maybe he's not the best option for Canada. I don't know. I'm 15 years old. I see him as a better option than Trudeau. I don't know if he's perfect, but people are just, I feel like people are just making up random stuff, like calling him a racist. Um, calling him a smug prick. I mean, that one's better than racist, but still, like, how are you going to say the guy's racist? Like, what is the basis for that? Um, okay, let's keep scrolling down. Polyev's brotherhood with, I don't know what this means. Um, oh, men go in their own way. Proves he is an anti-feminist and misogynist. W? I'm just kidding. I'm not a misogynist. But what's wrong with men going their own way? What's wrong with empowering men? Because everybody nowadays is trying to empower women. I know like majority of the people who watch me on Facebook are women. So I want to make it clear. I'm not a misogynist. I love you guys. But empowering men and standing up for men, that's not misogynistic. That's why people label Andrew Tate a misogynist. Um, he's not a misogynist. He said many times that he loves women. Um, and that's another word that the left loves to throw is misogynist. They just call everybody racist and misogynist. Um, Proves he's anti-feminist, misogynist. This extremist scumbag community advocates and to separate from women. What that's all about. I've never heard of this, by the way. Uh, in a society which they believe has been corrupted by feminism, Loki kind of has been corrupted by feminism to a degree. Not all women, obviously. Make no mistake, Polyev will not s stop until he takes away the right to choose. Um, I don't think that's one of his platforms. Conservatives continue... Continue to show that abortion debate is far from over. Polyev believes he is better able to decide what women should do with their own bodies. He's a political monster. A political monster. Wow. This Island Men guy is really going off on Polyev. I mean, obviously, there should still be a debate around it. I mean, I'm not anti-abortion or pro-abortion. Honestly, I'm not a woman. I don't really think about that topic too much. So I can't really weigh on on that. But I can weigh in on how much Polyev's getting bashed on Twitter. And even conservatives are turning on Pierre Polyev. Again, don't call me a grifter. I like Pierre Polyev. Um, so many people call me a grifter. I, I, I don't know. 
This crazy. Literally just for covering trending hashtags on Twitter that other Canadians are saying, which I disagree with. I'm just talking about it. But nope, people call me a grifter for it. So, I don't know, folks. Let me know what you guys think about this down below in the comments. People, Canadians, like, not a lot, but, well, I guess kind of a lot, are still loyal to Justin Trudeau. Like, there's a small but vocal group of people who actually think that Justin Trudeau is their lord and savior. It's, again, uh, I'm lost for words. It doesn't make any sense. And then there's a lot of people against Pierre Polyev, even on the right. People are would rather choose PPC than Polyev. Not everybody, of course. There's, Polyev still has a very large base, but I don't know. I guess I'm kind of running out of words. Let me know. This is where you guys come into play. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. Subscribe to my channel if you like this video and if you like the kind of thing that I have going where I talk about Canada, I talk about where we're headed, I talk about Justin Trudeau, Pierre Polyev, just a 15-year-old kid in his room. My bed's literally right there. I just got this little studio in my room trying to share about Canada. If you like and respect that, please hit the subscribe button. This channel is getting shadow banned heavily on YouTube. I get more views on Facebook than I do on YouTube, and I have like half the followers on Facebook than I do YouTube, which that right there should show you that I'm being shadow banned. So all I could ask is that you guys like the video and share the video and subscribe if you haven't already. But yeah, I do like Pierre Polyev for the record. My dad also likes Pierre Polyev. I always see videos popping up on his feed when he's scrolling on his phone. I know a lot of Canadians like Pierre Polyev. I'm not saying all of Canada is against Pierre Polyev. But there is a vocal chunk of people speaking out against him. So let me know what you think. I'm going to sign off for now. Take care. Have a wonderful rest of your day, everybody. And I'll see you in the next one. God bless everybody.